Drawings contain extremely important information about a design, such as model dimensions, a bill of materials, or tolerance standards, for example. All of the information in the drawing is stored either at the drawing sheet level or within the sheet format. To distinguish them, you can think of the sheet format as a kind of base layer that contains reference information about the model. With the sheet format set, the direct model information can be added on top of the sheet in the drawing sheet, including different drawing views, dimensions, etc. I'll walk through the differences between them by adding model information into a blank drawing. Whenever a blank drawing is created, the sheet format is shown and no model information has been added to the drawing sheet. Before I add any model views or dimensions, I'd like to adjust the sheet format, which currently includes the title block shown here in the bottom right corner and the border around the sheet. To edit the base layer that contains all of this information, I can edit the sheet format by either going to the Edit drop-down menu at the top and selecting Sheet Format, or by right-clicking on the sheet itself and selecting Edit Sheet Format. The title block and border change colors, and I can begin making modifications. I can add static text, such as a standard tolerance value, or a custom property that will link to the model when it's inserted into the drawing sheet. Or add a company logo to identify the company that created the drawing. Now that changes have been made to the sheet format, which acts as a base layer, I can click the icon in the confirmation corner to exit, and I can begin adding model views and other information on the drawing sheet rather than the sheet format. I'll expand the task pane and add a couple views of the pocket knife model, and notice that this information can be added anywhere on the sheet, and the information in the sheet format is unaffected. From here I can add other model info like a bill of materials. I could continue adding any more model information as needed, and if I need to adjust the sheet format, I can right-click and select Edit Sheet Format at any time to make changes to this information shown here.